<laughs> what a clap back. <laughs> That's all I can say. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Dr. AJ here, and for today's video, we will be reacting to Season 4, Episode 21 of my favorite anime, Haikyuu. So, without further ado, Onegaishimas! If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. AJ and I'm a licensed medical doctor as well as a professional beach volleyball player. But I also have experience with indoor even if I'm already retired from it. In fact, I was the former team captain of the Philippine national team back 2015. But now I'm focused more on beach and I'm part of the national team for beach volleyball. But that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy Haikyuu and we're almost at the end of season 4. I don't want it to end but I'm really getting more hyped up with the battle of Karasuno and Inarizaki. But before we begin, uh, I would just like to invite you again to check out my Patreon channel. Uh, if you want to be able to support my channel and support my dreams of being an Olympic beach volleyball athlete, please do check out. I would really appreciate it. If you can be part of my team, there are uh, several tiers. You can support me for as low as $1 a month and it would mean a lot because uh, it would help a lot in realizing our dream of representing the Philippines in beach volleyball someday and would be nice if you can be part of my crew and I'll give you, um, depending on which tier you go, um, you'll have uh, lots of benefits and uh, the most basic of it is you get credits for my future content like in this uh, Haikyuu React videos. But now that's all that, now it's all out of the way, let's get back to Inarizaki and Karasuno. So excited. Okay, Azumane. Osamu with a fake hit. A uh, fake set. Oh, Chuki. Oh, this is the solid block by Tobio. Ooh. Shut down. And it was Rintaro. Yeah. That's more scared about the block of Kageyama than Chuki. Let's do this, Chuki. Episode 21, Hero. So who will emerge as hero for this match? Oh, was that a triple quick? <laughs> or just really quick synchronized attack? Oh, going for a gift. You gonna do that again? That sideways? Well, that's for indoor, but right now for beach, it's sort of a one-on-one -on, -one on the net, really. And one-on-two, -on because you're up against two players. But yeah, when in beach volley, it's always one-on-one -on, -one on the net. That's why it's more satisfying if you get a block in beach volleyball, because there are no other arms around you, it's just you. So if you can cover that area and shut down with a monster block, best feeling ever for a beach volleyball blocker. Yeah, that's the spirit, Chuki. Yeah, there's always that apprehension. Oh, is that a glimpse of Chuki becoming like really in sync with the team like being a real embracing the team player heart oh, that sneaky rintaro okay nice one so um i think what uh what happened here is that chuki is blocking an area so it that that, that doesn't especially for someone as crafty as rintaro it's not always gonna be a block like for beach volleyball i'm defending the area like if i call one or defense one or call line i will block the area which will pretty much cover the line behind me and uh probably one third of the court on my side but that doesn't mean that i'm not attempting to block i'm forcing the player if he sees my hand to go cross court and my teammate will be there defending. Henry will be there defending. So there's that dynamic. 
it's not always jumping to be able to shut down the opponent but rather forcing the opponent to do some ways or trap them or bait them to go to a certain angle where the defense will be there so that's what we do for beach volleyball and that's also applicable for indoor yeah exactly what i was saying exactly what i was saying the idea that only a good uh, block is a kill block is outdated a good block is a well positioned and well timed block like if you're in the right position if you time it well if the opponent hits on you and you shut them down good if you time it well if you position well your opponent avoids you but to the point where or to the angle which is exactly towards the defender and the defender scoops it up then it's also a good block nice counter okay karasuno up by two <laughs> well me too we're all guilty of that kuro we're all guilty of that Crossbody. Okay. Defend that. There is a way. There is a way. Aurintaro. Rintaro is starting to see the mind of Chucky. <laughs> what a clapback! <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh -huh. Expect Chucky to always have the best clapbacks. Is he gonna be the hero? been trying to develop that serve and he's the one visualizing how the serve will go even if he's on the sidelines no nice service ace. 28 mental service ace wow yeah. the closer the ball is to the tape of the net if it's a floater the harder or more difficult it is to pass because the reception will have less reaction time okay Service ace? Is this a service? Okay, oh wow, it's going to the line of Samu. Oh, it's still perfect. Oh, good. Don't get this hardened. Don't get this hardened. It's alright. Don't mind, don't mind. Don't mind. Okay. Another character arc, I'm so excited. Yeah, Yamaguchi became a hero in his own right. Tanaka. Oh, his batchmates, basically. Hmm. You'll have your epic moment. Don't be too hard on yourself, please. Ah, it was a good target. Ah, Suga. Yeah, today's not your last shot. You didn't bungle the serve. You're too hard on yourself. Ooh, wicked quick. It's not yet halfway. Service ace again for Kageyama. So, three point lead. Before Atsumu starts to rack up some services. Okay, 
人見知りだった気もするし。前世とかの話ガキの Very typical of the current Nishinoya. I t h i n e It looks like a cool, cool grants. <laughs> He was scared. Yeah. Couldn't move. There's the grandpa always say. It's a waste of time to be scared. It's a waste of time. Okay. Our serve coming from Atsumu. <laughs> Eating a whole bell pepper. An open mind? That will help you conquer the fear. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. If you are genuinely scared, have someone help you. Okay, power jump serve. Oh no, it's a power float. Let someone help you. Yeah, but you, at some point, you will have to use overhand passes for indoor. For indoor. It's so nice. Uh, come again, let's go to that again. About having other options. About having other options. I like that. Oh my god, so many nuggets already. Which you can take. So many mental or mindfulness nuggets from here. It's no fun if you don't try other options once you know they exist. Yeah. Like for the longest time, a lot of us here, well,、uh, even until now, the level of play. It's、uh, basically just doing what's been experienced all throughout. But that limits us from really breaking out into the higher level. But right now, at least that's what I'm trying to do with my team. Me, Henry, and my coaches is we're trying to really learn how the elites do it and looking at different kinds of options that we haven't tried. And、uh, so far, I think it's pretty much、uh, doing a good job for us. So it's no fun if you don't try other options once you know they exist. So that's the problem. That's the hard part. If no, it's knowing what exists. If you don't know what exists, you won't be doing them. So there's always a conscious effort to know what exists. And that is through studying and learning and analyzing from how the elite level players do it. Best way to a scary float. Use your hands for indoor, not for beach. I mean, you can do it for beach, but as long as you're perfectly squared and the ball doesn't redirect. Limited to one serve. He's gonna point at his teammate. <laughs> That's your shot! That's your shot! You're a hero for that! Ah,、oh, Why am I tearing up? <laughs> ah. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Halfway, crying again. Ah. Ah. 
This anime. This anime. Now it's Aran. Oh, so those are the twins. <laughs> I didn't recognize them because of their hair. Hey, a new character. So he's the coach. <laughs> Jiba. Jiba, legendary volleyball player from Brazil. Or uh, Haikyuu fans who are not uh, too well versed with volleyball, but Jiba is like legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rintaro. Oh, wow. It's like they all. Oh, no, it's not Rintaro. I thought it was Rintaro. <laughs> it is nice that at such a certain age, at such a young age, they were already exposed. Another backstory. I love it how it's they're being oh the tricolored ball ah too many memories last time I played university that was still the ball the blue white and yellow the tricolored yeah oh my god that was a bit better than Atsumi. I probably hated losing to each other also. What did he have? Atsumi <laughs> Are they starting to have a rift with their teammates? Ooh. It's not good. That will breed contempt. <laughs> Need to have some humble pie, Tsumu. So Osamu is the good police. Tsumu is the bad police. <笑>時々怖いと思った。他人に仲間に嫌われるって<笑><笑> Abusive tyrannical pig. <laughs> they swim. Okay. This is the humble pie. <laughs> I like how Nirintaro is just. <laughs> Never make <laughs> They fight, but. They push each other higher. It's his refusal to lose. <laughs> yeah. It's the refusal to lose to your twin. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Kita in all of this? Where's my boy Kita? 
まあ悔しいと思てへんことが悔しい。<笑> Yeah. Namiya thinks he's such a character. Yeah. <laughs> this is when Atsumu was picked for the national team and Osamu is not. Got him into the training pool of the national team. Okay, Yamaguchi targeting Aran. Ooh, a shank. And it's a free ball. Okay, Yamaguchi. Quality minutes. So, where is Atsumo going? Wow. 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 What a set! Camera perfect. Even the coach. Yeah. Height to the left. Doesn't want to go safe. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, you wouldn't. Gonna set it to the best spot, not just the safe spot. Got more control. Yeah. It's something I want to develop also for beach volleyball is to be able to hand set no matter how difficult the pass is. Well, don't compare yourself. Even if you're both setters, Kenma, you have your own quirks. You have your mind. You have your brains. Like, uh, don't measure yourself or don't like limit yourself comparing to others. Okay, it's not making sense. But don't limit yourself by comparing yourself. To what others are strong at because you also have some things that you are strong at that they don't have there yeah there is going to detail about what you can do not what you can't do Okay, Tobio. Tobio is fired up. So 22. Pitons? Pitons? Pythons? Pitons? What word is that? I would have to Google. What's Pitons? Anyway, but yeah, it looks like it's gonna be Kageyama as a highlight. For the next episode so i'm fired up and just i'm just a little bit like um also, as much as i enjoyed the backstory of the mia twins like why they have to like put kinoshita in the pedestal of being the hero first half make us cry and by the second half of the episode it's like totally forgotten but yeah i either way i'm good i'm good with that maybe Maybe moving on, uh, we'll see other. And Kita is not in this episode. Or was he? No, no, he wasn't. Kita, my boy. I'm a fan. But anyway, so yeah, I would still also um, invite you to check out my live streams if you're a fan of Final Fantasy XIV online. I do live streams mostly on the weekends. And uh, if uh, not just live stream, first half of the stream, I also go into reacting to memes, medical memes. If you have pages about Haikyuu memes, please do send me so I can react to some Haikyuu memes also. And just memes in general. I like, I love memes. But yeah, so I invite you to check out my live stream, check out my Patreon page. And if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you won't miss out on future IQ React videos. And uh, once we end this uh, series for Season 4, let's check out other animes. Put in the comment below what would you recommend. But yeah, 
once again, it's Dr. AJ. Keep safe, keep healthy, and I wish you all good vibes. Thank you.